I'm so exciting to know about our seventh flower in this amazing bouquet in this night. Mariam Abdel Ghaffar is our own beautiful lady from Bahrain who is a professional food photographer. It's just so amazing how a person can create beauty with her photos. To hear more how is it possible, we let our dearest Mariam to share her secret with us. Hello, Mariam. Marhaba, Hello. Mariam. Thank you لك you والأهل البحرين الحبايب. It's a regards from here Hello. from Saudi Arabia to our lovely kingdom of Bahrain. Hello, uh, First, I would like to thank uh, Amina. Thank you for uh, this chance to let me speak uh, about myself. And I'll be sharing my screen and I'll talk about uh, my journey. Amina, it's frustrating me. You know, Mariam, how much we are hungry now when you see your photo. We will be more we will hungry. Be extremely hungry right now. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> if we don't have Corona today, Amina will make amazing uh, food tonight for us in this. Uh... I would, but my. Pleasure. Yeah, wallah, I know, Amina, you are amazing, sweet lady in the world. Thank you so much. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Uh, yes. We can see. Yes, okay. we can. So I'll, I'll, I'll take you over the journey of uh, what happened to me, basically. Okay, how did I start? Uh, I was a kid. Uh, my dad liked to uh, take us around on camps uh, every time in the summer. So he would like to keep us busy. And uh, one of the years, I, I think I was about 10 years old, maybe nine years old, there was this camp uh, that's about saving the environment and uh, avoiding pollution and and that was their their like concept so one of the things that they had in the event was like a challenge of photography my dad had this small camera he just threw it at me and it was like uh, I'll, I'll, I want you to take some pictures but his like for him as a parent he just wanted to keep me busy out of like TV and stuff like that. So I, I took it and I wasn't serious about it. I was just a kid. I just took pictures all around and then we submitted the pictures and that was it. Um, then there was like an event that, um, uh, like a gallery for some painters, some uh, photog photography, uh, the pictures that was taken. And they divided the kids on one side and the adults on one side. So in the gallery, they, they actually took my pictures and they kept them with the adults. I had no idea why. I was like, I was crying. Like why I wasn't with, why, did, why are my pictures here and they were not with the kids? I didn't understand it. But uh, right now I know that I started with, uh, with a, I had a very good start. I had like the vision, uh, the, the eyes of a photographer. And uh, my dad started pushing me from there. He just, when he saw this, he just gave me the camera and started like challenging me every time. So that's where I started. Then, um, once I grew up a little bit, I was more passionate about it. Uh, photography to me is all about emotion and it's about, it's, it's a language that all countries can speak. Uh, it's uh, not just photography, I mean like art, uh, as a whole, um, every person who's into art, he can see a sculpture, he can see like uh, pearls or whatever it is from all the girls that, that, that talked about today, it has a meaning behind it. So this is the language that I see in photography and I love. Uh, these two pictures were actually uh, once I started like in, in my, let's say middle, uh, middle experience. Um, I created, uh, th this was actually one of, my one of my friends. I just wanted to send a message um, from here. You can see her eyes are actually red. And this uh, was taken in New York uh, during my study in the States. Okay, so education and projects that I worked on, I am actually an HR 
uh, I work in human resources and uh, learning and development uh, specialist, uh, senior specialist in uh, Betelco. Um, during my study, I, my, I majored in HR as well. But during my study, I wanted to take an elective in photography because uh, I, I like it. So uh, the, the concept of the college that I went to in uh, Ohio State is that if you are in majoring in business school, you cannot take an elective in arts. Uh, it's like against the rules. So, so they accepted me as an exception once they saw my photography. Uh, the first thing I started in was, uh, there are like many fields within photography. I started in uh, those pictures on the left are actually um, night photography. I loved it. It looks like paintings, but it's not, those are not paintings. Those are like paintings with light. This is what we do in photography, basically. Um, and the thing on the right is a project that I worked on in the state. I worked on uh, three projects three projects. Um, this is one of the projects. Um, they had like a, a mini section of NASA in our university and um, they keep everything related to NASA there. So students study everything that's related to NASA and then they go work for NASA. So one of the projects was that they wanted the photographers to create a picture that actually looks like space. So I did those two things and they are fine and they actually liked them and they were posted in the, in the university. So why did I change from nightlife? And I am, yeah, just, just one thing that I have to highlight. Um, I'm actually specialized in food photography right now. I changed my field. This is because um, in the Gulf we have like traditions uh, that actually stops women kind of from uh, from some of the things so a nightlife needs a, a person to go out at night and uh, and it's like i can't go out um let's say 3 a.m taking pictures in the street whereas where, whereas uh, nobody nobody's with me so it's it's like it's not safe so I had to kind of change my field. Uh, I changed my field first. When I came to Bahrain, I noticed that photography is totally different right here. And um, I, I, I jumped from a field to another until I found myself in food photography. Just some pictures. And now I'll, I'll make you hungry. Just uh, bear with yeah. me. Yeah. OK, bear uh, with me. <laughs> uh, Mariam, uh, please, I want to ask about this said uh the food photography food photography and the uh, child kids photography it's a difficult kind of photograph right yes correct correct mm. okay um for me actually food photography i changed to food photography i always like to have something unique about the message that i want yes. to send so i chose food photography i mean no one hates food everyone loves food but it's hard to make it look delis delicious. Right. And, um, and one more thing I would like to share about myself. I did gastric sleeve sur sur surgery, which is gas uh, murder. So I yeah. love food and I can't oh. eat a lot. <laughs> I still love so, it in the, in the photos, Yanni. Now you still love it in the photos. Exactly. So one thing. And, about, and they yeah. say it also. When you take this picture, you use fake materials, not, not use a really gradients from food, right or not? True. Every picture okay. you see in the commercial, like McDonald's as an example, if you take a, ah. a burger from McDonald's, it, took, it looks totally different than the picture. That's because the materials used are different. Like for example, this burger was not, uh, was not really cooked. Uh, hmm. The cheese, I had to melt it myself. And in the burger itself, there is a lot of toothpicks. I had to put mm. toothpicks inside to make mm. the mm. stand out. Right? So like uh, preparing the food for a picture takes about 20 minutes each picture. So this is one burger that I did. This was another burger that I did. Mm. This is another one. Beautiful. And this is steak. Uh, Steak. Oh my God. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> so for steak pictures, basically, a lot of people like to eat it very well done. It's like a rock. We feel hungry, really. Uh, too much, <laughs> uh, I like it rare, like this, uh, Mariam. I like it steak rare, like this. Me too, me too. So this is rare. We actually, once it was out of the kitchen, I have to directly take the pictures. We cannot wait because once the juiciness goes, uh, the wow. pictures so it has to be like all the lights and everything has to be prepared before the dish comes. Uh, this is the same steak, but before we had to cut it up. Mm. A mashed this potato. Is this is another project I worked on. I wanted to send a message every time I make people hungry. This time I wanted to confuse people. I want them to think like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, but it's a creative mind. It's a creative mind from you, yes. Thank you. So this is what I did right here. And uh, here I wanted to send a message like it's a happy mess, a nice mess. Every time when we, we look at a mess in the kitchen, it's totally different when you present it in a picture. So I wanted to present it in a nice way. Uh, a tip. Uh, about shooting ice cream. First of all, it melts uh, very fast. So sometimes what photographers actually do, they use mashed potato and coloring equipment to take a mm. picture of ice cream. So sometimes whenever a photo photographer is shooting, just don't eat anything after them. Because it's, it's uh, they probably use sprays, they use uh, fake equipment to make a picture look like food. Okay, as a side thing that I do, I like to shoot portraits, but I'm not really into it as much as food. This is uh, oh. this, this is like, uh, I shot uh, these for a Bahraini designer. Uh, she sells uh, dresses. So I'll just share some pictures. Nice. Her work. I like the hat. Thank you. Now, uh, okay, don't laugh. I, I okay. put myself a lot and uh, I'll show you just where did I start from to reach to these type of pictures. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. I shot this when I was a kid. These are marshmallows and I wanted to send a message of victory. <laughs> okay, I have a story behind there, but the picture looks very bad. This is another picture I shot in uh, Chicago. Like technically there's a lot of like wrong things in this picture. And this is another picture. I started from here all the way to my photography right now. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for you. Uh, you. The amazing thing in your work, uh, Mariam, I know behind every shot or every uh, picture, there is a story there is a message it's amazing good luck i want to thank you from my heart for all all of you, you lovely ladies and for your patience because today we made it to be honest 50 minutes more than usual but we had so many beautiful and lovely stories inside our now let's say uh, two hours and uh, 15 minutes that it is really precious and and worth it so thank you so much from my heart and and uh, really you were part of of my my heart and you were part with your horse and and really thank you so much to be here in this horse talk and i wish you all good good luck whatever you do and let's be together and we will meet in bahrain as soon as possible as inshallah. soon as possible, a, a real event inshallah inshallah so thank you so much from my heart Thank you, Amina. Very big thank you. Um, uh, sorry about my worst English, but Amina, thank you very much because you made me a part of this nice bouquet of ladies, amazing ladies, amazing night. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you to Amina. Thank you to Bana. Thank you to Ishita Shah. Thank you to Olga Balak. Balaklitz, thank you for Wafa Al Gnabit, Ru'a Yagmur, 
Halina Rosa and Mariam Abdel Ghaffar. I'm a proud of amazing ladies from the world and especially from my country. It's uh, really uh, means to me. Thank you for all. Thank you, Amina.